Jesli, you have come for um, Federal Bank. Yeah. No, no. This is, yeah, this, this, this uh, is not. This is not Federal Bank. This is Punjab National Bank. Okay, okay. Last day, it was I think Federal Bank did it this time. Okay, sorry, sir. Please, please, please log out. Please log out. Okay. 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 Candidates who are appearing for Punjab National Bank credit officer alone need to stay here now. Others, you may log out. Because for you, the, uh, the mock interview will be at 7.30 p.m. Alan, you are for uh, uh, Federal Bank. So those here, this session... Yes, is. This session is for Punjab National Bank. I have given you session oh. only at 7.30 p.m. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, please log out. B2, uh, Bill 2. Yeah, hello, sir. Bill 2, you are appearing for which interview? PNB creditors. PNB, fine. Kirti also PNB? Kirti, you are appearing for PNB? No. Abhishek, you are appearing for PNB? No. Abhishek, you are appearing for PNB or for uh, Federal Bank? So this session is for Punjab National Bank. Punjab National Bank. This session is for Punjab National Bank. Hello, so many candidates are coming now. Um, 2023. I think I should have different ideas. Um, Yeah. So, Shuban Dadge, you are appearing for which interview? Federal Bank, sir. Federal Bank, please log out. Those who have come for Federal Bank, please okay, log sir. out. This is for Punjab National Bank Credit Officer. Anybody from Punjab National Bank Credit Officer is available here? Yes, sir. Who is that? Uh, sir, this is Tejas. Ready me? Uh, no, sir. Samsung A4. Tejas Methyl, sir. Te Tejas uh, Samsung. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good. Now, um, I was trying to tell you um, preliminary interview. I think the questions and all I have given here in this page, Central Bank. Um, you know what happened? I shared those questions to you to create an awareness in your mind that the preparation you are doing must be speeded up and must be increased to match the level of expectation of questions that can be asked. Of course, it is not to frighten you. It is not to frighten you. Those who have come for Punjab National Bank alone, please stay. Others, please log out. You will come at 7.30 p.m. Abhishek, you are for which one? Abhishek? Abhishek, you are appearing for which interview? Aruna, you are appearing for which interview? Sir, Punjab National Bank. Very. Aruna, fine. Bill Biltu, you are appearing for? Sir, I am also for PNB. Achha, very good. Redmi Nainai, what is your name? For which bank? Sir, my name is Rajni and I am appearing for Punjab National Bank. Very good. Tejas is also for Punjab National Bank. Good. Candidates, 
this session is a special session and I actually it was not in my um, plan, but on the request of some of you, I arranged for this. You know, first of all, the type of questions you will be getting are what I have given you earlier. That is credit officers questions. Like uh, th these are the questions that you will be getting in uh, like MSME, Kisan credit card, like these questions, working capital assessment, solvency ratio, quick ratio, debtor velocity ratio. These questions only will be normally asked. But the recent questions that I have posted are asked in Central Bank of India for scale four officers. However, knowing them will be of a great advantage for you in answering questions. For that, I will initiate today for a few questions. Thereafter, I would suggest you are forming a group. You are already in a group now, Punjab National Bank WhatsApp group. So, aap log se koi ek, do, teen admi leadership leke, aap log ek Zoom or team meeting mein aake, udar mein discuss karne se badia hoga. Do you follow? So, because I am not having much time to share with you and um, it is for you to prepare and that preparation can be made more meaningful if you have some groups. I will arrange for some groups. I will arrange for some groups and see that it is done. But, you know, the normal questions for all of you will be uh, like this only. Where do you work? What is the role you are doing? What is your total branch business? Is there anybody who is a fresher here? Is there anybody who is a fresher? It cannot be, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am fresher. Yes, sir. I am also fresher. Achha, achha. Fresher bhi hota hai. Kyu? Aap log kya chartered accountant na kya? MBA in finance, sir. MBA in finance. Achha, achha, achha. Very good. So, aap, aap ka ye questions applicable nahi um, Then, uh, how do you process proposals beyond your incumbent powers? That is, uh, what is the meaning of incumbent? That means, I think, discretionary powers hoga. Let me check up what is the meaning of incumbent. Incumbent means normally, it says people who are to come and all that. But either me kya meaning what hai? Necessary for as a duty or responsibility, currently holding office. Achha. Samaj gya. That is, it says that every branch manager has been given certain powers to disburse loans. And when the proposal that is received is beyond his powers, what he will do? Even then, the processing is to be same. Only thing is, you have to forward the papers as per your bank's procedure through online or through papers uh, for sanction. So that is the answer for that. See, all the normal um, proposal conditions have to be followed, like verifying the KYC of the participant, of the, of the applicant, and then uh, taking the assets and liability statement of the applicant, then going through the balance sheet, if it is a company for the last two, three years, arriving at the ratio analysis and checking up with the similar industries. All those things we have to do. But only thing is when we are forwarding papers to higher authorities, we should exercise still more caution and try to find out what are the questions that can be asked and try to get the questions from answers from the uh, applicant and then solve it and then send it along with that then how can you tell that you are fit for this position? Uh, this class is for Punjab National Bank credit officers. If there are other candidates coming for Federal Bank, kindly log out. Yeah. Now, how can you say that you are fit for this position? This actually, this is not a very tough question. It is only for you to tell about your strengths, about your achievements, the way you think you are more suitable for this. Normally, 
I used to tell candidates, I had to tell them that I am a quick learner. I am a hardworking person. I enjoy shouldering higher responsibilities. I possess leadership styles. I am also a good team player. I have good, excellent problem solving skills. I, am, I know prioritization and I am very good in time management. So all these qualities will make me more suitable for this post because, and I am also excellent in communication. I can talk to customers, in, get information Classroom. and give information like that. You can tell. Classroom. Yeah. Classroom. Yeah. So yeah, all of you are for only Punjab National Bank, correct? Good. Punjab National Bank, only people stay. Others, please go because for federal 7.30 p.m. mock interviews. So this is how you have to manage this question. Actually, it is not that what I told is the correct way of telling it. This is um, one of the ways of telling it, but whatever confidence with which you speak, uh, that will decide. Now we can test this for two of you and then decide whose version is good. Any two of you come forward to talk for this question. That is, what is the question? Uh, why, how you feel you are suitable for this position? Any two of you, please volunteer to speak for one to one and a half minute only. Come on. Nobody. First and foremost, qualification required for success in interviews is the confidence. Candidates, um, you are all lucky in that I think nearly 30, 35 candidates are there in this group. You can make a group among yourselves and make it uh, interesting for you to study and discuss in the groups. You have my previous credit officer's videos. You have to watch. You have to go through the contents given to you. You have to go through Punjab National Bank website thoroughly. So then only you will be able to do it. But if you don't raise your hand, if you don't speak, uh, then what is the fun of this meeting? Of course, uh, my intention is not to conduct more such meeting because there is no absolutely no time. Nearly 600 candidates are now proceeding with me for Federal Bank. So I am very busy in that. And, um, the, and both the courses are entirely different. That is for, uh, say, um, scale one. And this is, this is also for scale one or two? Scale one, sir. Scale one, sir. Scale one only. Then what I can suggest is I will give you the classes I am taking for Federal Bank people and those mm, videos I will give you where I have discussed with them what are the type of questions that can be asked. For example, about your native place, about your qualification, about your strengths about your weakness, about your hobbies. Wo sab mein kya kya question aega, uske liye, amne to, mm, badiya bana ke, I have been taking classes for them. I, I was uh, not able to correlate that yours also is similar, in which case I would have asked you to come and sit in that. So now, in fact, after this, um, uh, say 7.30 p.m., I will be going for interview for scale one people and if some of you are interested you can come and observe that that's not a problem for me so now one minute so let me give you that link i will give you that link uh, so that you know itself so that you don't have to worry about it so this one punjab national just a, just a minute it's very that will be useful for you mm -hmm. Playlist, group discussion, Federal Bank interview unlisted. This has been not posted in my general channel outside. This is being given only for people who have paid money. And in your case, you are getting this because 
I am not able to conduct specially classes for you for this one because number is not that much uh, good. So what I will do, chat, I will give in this chat, this one. Please take it. Aap log isko le lijiye. I am giving in your um, in your WhatsApp page also. I have already given. So first, first class. If this is given, your fifty percent problems will be sorted out. Fifty percent problems are sorted out. But one thing, there the approach is for a normal probationary officer scale one. All those things are 100% applicable for you. You can go through that and uh, try to know more ideas. First few days video, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th and all that are concept oriented um, videos which you can watch. Keep the materials with you. Note down the points and prepare for that. That will be for normal officers and plus that this one this is credit officers so credit officers of course i can also give you bank of india's credit officers but of course i have not done much there i have not done much into that um, because number of people are very low in that one and i could not spend more time on that one i will share that also with you in the days to come that's not a problem so now coming to this questions so what you you have to do is you have to form team among yourselves now tell me those people who are good in computer operation say team or zoom you can make a team and you can start you will take the initiative of that is what I have done now for Federal Bank, where there are 600 candidates. It is impossible for me to talk to everybody. So what I have done, I have formed some three or four leaders groups who are initiating further classes during the daytime also. I am staying in Canada. I am able to talk to them only in the night. So special classes are arranged by them. So such initiatives have to be taken by you. So if some, you know, who are all willing to take that initiative, um, it, the group I will be forming now will be consisting of both girls as well as female, both male and female, so that it makes a good team and you are able to do it. Who can take that initiative, please? Tell me. I, I only God should help this group because unless you volunteer to do it, it is not going to be possible. So, however, I will give you the videos for Federal Bank. I will give the videos I have posted for um, Bank of India credit officer post also. OB upload dekhlije. Wherever Bank of India comes, make it as Punjab National Bank. That's all. That's a very simple thing. Wherever Federal Bank comes, make it as, say, um, Punjab National Bank. For example, there I tell Federal Bank 30th June figures you must be aware of. So say you here it is it should be that you must be aware of Punjab National Bank 30th June. Can anyone tell me how many branches are there in Punjab National Bank? Sir, 12,248 branches. What is the total business position of Punjab National Bank as on 30th June? Uh, sir, it is second largest volume in terms of business volume and as well as a network. A answer will give you only two marks out of 10. My question was, what is the business position of Punjab National Bank as on 30th June? आपने तो clearly हमको बताना है इसका business इतना लाख करोड़ है उसमें से deposit इतना है I I think I have taken a session on that also I have covered this in a video yes sir I remember it it's a net profit is one thousand two fifty five crore and operating profit is five thousand nine sixty eight crores and also 
its uh, employees are 1 lakh 3000 employees customers are 180 million customers deposit so, kitna hai advance kitna hai uh, sorry sir uh, i didn't uh, read it yaad nahi you, you must have read but you are not remembering yes sir so like that you please prepare for that also okay good okay sir now this is how you have to prepare boys and girls number 1 you must be in a position i think this this itself i think i have covered in a video and posted namely you must be prepared to talk about yourself about your native place about your native state about your subject subject related questions and apart from that uh, say your achievements your um, hobbies then comes uh, say about punjab national bank uh, about uh, punjab national banks achievement punjab national banks awards punjab national banks corporate social responsibility punjab national bank important people behind it ye sab aap log prepare karke rakhna hai saath saath fada fat fada fat bolna hai iska baad mein aata hai credit when it comes to credit kya hoga say you all of you are commerce students i, I hope all of you are commerce na yes, yes sir because in the case of bank of india what happened that is for recruitment of credit officers for a pg dbm course so they have allowed even engineers to come for um, credit officers so uh, yours is at least better so you there is there, there is a type of questions i would have given you commerce related interview question that is basic that is basic apart from that further questions will be asked as it is given here as it is given here further questions will be one minute yeah so these are the further questions that will come for example how can you tell that you are fit for this this is where we got stuck up and i told you how can a fictitious profit be shown in balance sheet superb question a man who has served in bank for 32 years a person who has been teaching for more than 20 years even i was not comfortable with this question can anyone tell me what is the answer for this how can fictitious profit be shown in balance sheet come on hello then only option is go to google.com india sir yeah tell sir. me sir Uh, yeah. Sir, generally fictitious assets are nothing but uh, preliminary expenses uh, uh, when the business was not started. Yeah. So uh, that will be automatically yeah. shown in the balance sheet in the asset side. How it is to be shown? That's what they are asking. Fictitious profit, बोलता है जी, not assets. Fictitious okay. profit. That is why the question is different. fictitious profit i know what you are telling is prepaid expenses and other things so this is some i don't know what it is fictitious profit ka matlab kya hai i want help from uh, mba finance then chartered accountants or mcom students to know about all this uh, here some when you search like that in the in the uh, google you will get like this what are fictitious assets shown in balance sheet under miscellaneous expenditure why are fictitious assets shown on balance sheet what if a company reported fictitious revenue this is our question if a company reported fictitious revenue it could try to cover up its fraud by creating fictitious account a fictitious asset account would be debited so that fictitious revenues would be credited with the sales to prevent the accounts to fall out for off balance so what is fictitious profit fictitious revenues involve sale of goods or services that did not occur fictitious invoices can be fake but can also involve legitimate customers the fictitious invoice can be prepared this is nothing but our satyam computers all of you must have been bachas you were all very small then so this were this happened during about 10 15 years ago satyam computers 
he used to put 1000 rupees deposit in a bank then what he will do he will um, he will alter the fixed deposit receipt for 10 crores 100 crores and he will show it in the books of accounts so that is all known as fictitious assets so candidates please prepare for such allied questions relating to this by searching your google.com could you follow this aruna yes sir very good so now uh, what is leased rent discounting can anyone tell me what is leased rent discounting honestly this is a very high level question this is most probably suitable for scale 3 or level questions so you don't have to worry it is nothing but you know what is been, what is a lease that you must answer me what is a lease what is a lease rent come on come on come on you must answer me this is a very basic question what is lease where it comes what is a leased rent and how to discount it see it is like this that in the case of in places like canada america and all you know people don't buy cars what they do they take cars on lease so and similarly similar arrangement must be there in india also where vehicles are rent given on lease so every Sir, month, uh, yeah here buildings will be given uh, as lease yes, exactly buildings are also rented out on lease supposing a building is rented out for 1 crore monthly rent and uh, for about 5 years the party has a lease deed that he has prepared it is registered we should insist it should be registered and then um, such a deed you know it will have how much money he will get 60 months 60 crores he will get so if he comes to us along with his previous documents then we can discount it and give it to him anticipating maybe we may not like to take risk whether the company may be continuing for all the years so we will tell him possibly we will discount 12 months uh, rent now at 75 percent we will give you so we will give you 7.5 crores you start repaying it within this one year once it is adjusted again we will give it to you so like that that is known as lease discounting so and it cannot be done simply based on lease deed you know lease deed will only tell the arrangement entered into by this party we must know who is the lessee whether he is a normal whether his credit report is good whether he will be paying properly and about this company is ka position acha hai na ki inka prop balance sheet vagera kaisa hai ye sab dekh ke hum log unko paisa dena hai limit dena hai theek hai so like this when you come for interview for mock interviews i will be asking questions like this only and i may not have time to go into explaining about this so what you should do you should go through each and every question given here and try to make out a short answer for that and be ready to answer me how many of you had the time to go through this i know most of you are very much coming too busy because you have to write further examinations in the days to come or some of you maybe how many of you are working anybody is working i am working sir where are you working now bbc college of engineering sir as a lecturer acha acha what is the subjects you are teaching managerial economics and financial analysis and uh, management and organizational behavior etc i think i have talked to you no i conducted a mock for you yes sir ah. No, sir. Uh, there is a mock interview tomorrow. Achha, achha, mock interview tomorrow. Achha, I had a preliminary discussion with you before deciding about the mock. Very good. Yeah, That's yes, why sir. I, that is why I remember. Very good. So, um, in spite of that, I would request you to allot time every day, two to three hours for this and prepare very well. Because they, Punjab National Bank, of course, their expectation is not much. From the way I have come across Punjab National Bank's recruitment earlier, 
there are people who are not so very well equipped also they are now working as scale 2 3 and all in punjab national bank but basic things you must be able to answer with confidence and that can be done by people like you who are teachers you must be able to talk confidently okay very good this this is all these are all regular questions which will be asked in any interview for credit officer uh this if lease rent agreement period is available for 5 years and borrower is asking for a discount oh oh same thing it is 10 years what will you do so you can analyze from whatever angles you feel and tell about it what is lei is it applicable to above 1 crore limit borrowers this question you can avoid because it is so high not required what is tev study anybody knows T E V study. What is T E V study? Google. Of course, this is high level. This is these are the questions that were asked at scale three level. What is when you don't know like this? Just search like this. T E V study means techno economic viability. Very important from the point of view of credit analysis. techno economic viability study of a project encompasses the evaluation of a project for evaluating the technical and financial information about the project with relevant data about its technological feasibility and economic viability into one or a few criteria on the basis of which the project is recommended so aap log isko bare mein pad ke man mein rakh lijiye this is not unimportant because whenever we are taking an a uh, term loan proposal we have to do all these things so this question will not be coming for you what kind of industries you are looking into process of this also will not come for you so uh, this question can come for you what is lc how do you calculate debtor of credit so please prepare for this i think there are materials given to you uh, general banking materials through that you have to study and then tell me what is the letter of credit how limits are fixed in the recent national budget what are, what are the allocations for msme this you must be able to know you should go through the balance sheet i am not sure whether i have given budget for you otherwise um, some of you will be having you can share it in the group if nobody is having ask for it i will share it um, from some other websites some other um, papers i will take out and give it to you then what is lead time i don't know what is lead time i don't know this candidate has been selected as scale 3 here in uh, this bank for which he appeared lead time the time between the initiation and the completion of a production process lead time what do you so when you search like this you will get questions like this what do you mean by lead time what is lead time of an order what what does one week lead time mean is lead time necessary same as delivery so please go through all the questions and be ready for that what is use on period can anyone tell me what is use on period where it will come this concept this uh, terminology will be used in which place this will come in the case of bills of exchange uh, bills of exchange in the case of bills of exchange drawn for a use on period use on means payable after a specified number of days so that is what is known as use on period payable after 45 days 90 days like that so you must go through that now candidates you cannot say i don't know about this you must be able to answer what is surface e action what is procedure if only you have watched my videos you would have otherwise you go to google and make a search you will get it up. then what is working capital current asset ratio dscr ratio then forex terminology perhaps this candidate must have at worked in foreign exchange so they have asked so that may not be that very relevant for you except that you know 
RBI is only controlling the foreign exchange of our country. They are holding the foreign exchange reserves. Here, what is the present foreign exchange reserves? Excuse me. What is foreign exchange reserves? Hello. You sir, must... it, is, hmm. sir, it is near about 580, $5586 billion. India's foreign exchange reserves top 600 billion. What did you say? 580. It's okay. More or less correct. Now, I think I am told it is uh, as on March, it was uh, 578. Now, I think it has crossed uh, 600 billion reserves. Billion means how many crores? Answer me. Billion means how many crores? 100 crores. Such silly questions will be asked. You must be able to answer. Latest digital banking updates. Then branch head role and responsibilities. Okay. Actually, this meeting was asked for by a candidate because of the questions I have given here, hypothetical questions, which are far-fetched. This was asked by for a candidate who appeared for scale four interview in central bank. Imagine a situation where a high net worth client disagrees with a credit decision you have made. How would you uh, handle this? How would you handle this? A client disagrees. Again, there cannot be a definite answer for this. It depends on the client. If the client is going to be Adani or Adwani, we will change all our, all our stand and go along with the uh, direction of the bus. That's what is happening in the majority of the cases. If, so, But in the interview, you cannot answer that. If the client disagrees, uh, for the sake of interview, you will have to discuss with, I mean, I will discuss with the client and tell him the reasons for uh, our decision. And I will also seek the help of my higher-ups who can also explain to them the other stand of the bank in this case. Something like that. You should give some hypothetical answer. If you notice the colleague was approving credits without doing thorough checks, what you would do? Actually, this is 100% hypothetical because how can you know that um, this person is doing um, uh, a credit appraisal without going through that? If at all you come to know that there is nothing that we can do except that and this is officially nothing can be done. Unofficially the answer is uh, if you think that the fellow has been doing without doing any calculation and all, you will have a gossip with your boss and tell him but that cannot be told in an interview. So accepting that for interview cases what you can tell is I would talk to him and tell him that it may become bad if it is going to be processed without without being processed properly. So I will tell him, most of the people will reject. I know my duty, you know your duty, you go. So that way it will go. A long time customer credit score has suddenly dropped significantly. How would you approach the situation? In such situations as low level, I mean, say up to scale three, scale four and all, I'm sure we can't decide anything. So I will tell this matter immediately to my superior and go by his suggestions. Go by his suggestions. How would you handle a situation where your team must process a large number of credit requests in a short time? I will try to talk to, I will prevail upon the team to see that since the, uh, urgently this many cases have come, so we have to sit for longer hours and then do it I am sorry, there is no way of compensating you for this, except that let us understand that this is going to be beneficial for the bank and I would enlist their cooperation. This is 100% theoretical. If you tell like that, not everybody will listen. Most of them will say, I know about myself, so I will go. And if it is a government bank, you can't send him out also. Even if it is a private sector bank, you can't send people out. Uh, immediately. So this is what the situation is. Uh, then next question is what uh, 
what would you do if a client asked you to bend the rules slightly to approve their credit? The answer is no. In interview situations, the answer is no. I will not bend the rules. You know, bending the rules requests come from not good, good clients, but it comes from bad clients whose account will become bad. When you are sanctioning 10 lakhs limit to a borrower and he wants you to say be liberal under certain conditions and he will try to bribe you by giving some money which in turn will corrupt you and once corrupt, always corrupt. Once a thief, always a thief. So that way we should try to restrict our um, a temptation to go for that and say no. But the problem in such cases is that your boss will be asking you to change, be liberal. What you will do? In my experience, majority of the cases, candidates have agreed to that. They sanctioned advances and a few of them remain outstanding. They have not got their retirement benefits also fully. The case is going on for the last 20 years. And I was of a stand. I said, no. But that affected my career. I was not given promotions. So this is the only thing that is a possibility in this case. So what you, you choose to answer this discreetly. So if, if the borrower wants you to bend, you say, no, I will not do it. Even if the boss says, uh, you tell him no. Maximum what problem? You will be disturbed from Kerala to uh, Delhi. Okay, take the baggage and go. But it is easily said, will be very difficult. Children will be studying and their education will be affected. But you must be prepared for that. That is why what I did, I took shelter in teaching for 11 years. I was a faculty member in the college of the bank for once five and a half years, another time five and a half years. And I came out of the college only because I was feeling uh, one, first time the promotions were not being given. Number two, um, second time I was feeling bored. So I thought I should do something. I should also be given a car. I should also drive a bank car and all that. So I came out. But then I was trying to fix with uh, fix myself with the um, operations also. Sometimes I was not 100% fit with that, uh, what is required. Because many of my colleagues, you know, they were so liberal. If the RM tells over phone, please give 25 lakhs, they will give. Even before he is keeping the phone down, they will release it. Such people are in trouble now. So you have to be very careful. Of course, this type of odd questions, I expect 90% not to be asked to low, I mean, scale one or scale two people because of the embarrassment. You know, this interview was for scale four and it was done by executive director or general managers, higher level. So they can talk at that level like this. They will talk in the meeting one and do something else in the reality. Um, yeah. Next one. How would you address a situation where you must decline a credit of a long-standing customer of the company? I will tell him uh, the reasons for which I am declining it. Of course, with the consent of my boss. Describe a time when you had to make a credit decision that was unpopular but necessary. How did you handle it? This will not come for you because you have not handled Imagine a large client threatens to leave if you don't extend their credit. What would you do? Again, this is not in my hand. Large credits are decided by the higher-ups and the board. So I will take the view of the board. How would you manage a situation where a dispute between sales and credit departments regarding client's credit limit? How would you manage a situation where there is a dispute between sales and credit department? I don't understand the question. Please search Google and find out. You realize there is an error in credit report after credit has been granted. 
what steps would you take? Nothing when we do. After doing a mistake, what we can do? There's a problem. So we have prepared some credit report. In that credit report, um, we have done some mistake. Then nothing can be done now at this stage. Maybe next time when the credit comes for review, we can re re revise it. Uh, many times it happens among our students also. Uh, they go through the website of the bank and then tell me there are actually 1.6 crore customers majority of them tell me 16 lakh customers are there because when they read they read it like this so you must read things properly you must try to avoid mistakes then technical questions how do you evaluate the credit worthiness of a new customer this is a question that can be asked to you that is i will go through the income tax returns i will go through the balance sheet i will also check the credit report and um, I will also check market report afterwards, go through the last six months bank statements and then decide. Can you explain difference between credit risk and market risk? This, I think uh, I can't explain you. Anybody answer this? Can anyone answer this? For credit risk, that is uh, basically for the default and market risk that is happened due to changes in event or any policies in my in market so it's a Mark, market. yeah market risk is what happens when there is a substantial change in the particular marketplace in which a company competes credit risk is when a companies give their customers line of credit a company's risk of not having credit risk is okay we know borrower is not paying market means suddenly market goes down we can't change it all the borrowers they feel there is no fun in investing money in this. So they don't want to borrow. You can't do anything. Nothing can be done under that. Except that um, we can try to mellow down that situation by prevailing upon some important parties. Zoom open. Uh, Next one. Um, Describe a scenario where it is better to offer short-term credit instead of long-term credit. Where we are not satisfied about the credit worthiness of the customer or where we are not satisfied about the project as it is. Possibly we may like to do it for a short term. How do you take a collateral into account when assessing credit risk? It depends on the bank's policies. Banks have a procedure that for a credit for a credit of this much it must be covered by say 150% value of the property or 200% value of the property and that should be done but the basic problem mistake that is happening is customers prevail upon the valuers and ask them to value it for a higher value a property worth 1 crore the fellow will ask him to value it as 1.5 crore and the manager is also a party to it. So that's where the mistake happens. How do you take collateral? Into, oh, that's okay. Explain the role of credit rating agency. Do you think the assessments are always accurate? Credit rating agencies normally, it is like say our putting our, what is that? Uh, seat belt in car and seat belt in flight and all. If a big accident happens, nothing is going to, it is not going to save us, but still, we must do that credit rating. We must take it. Most of them are accurate. Describe a time when you used a financial model to forecast a borrower's default probability. This will not be asked to you because you don't have any experience. How do cyclic economic factors influence credit risk? And how do you account for them when making credit decision? So it is like, say, when the price changes, inflation changes, and market, for example, um, LIC invested a lot of money in Adani group of companies and helped them. Subsequently, after that Hindenburg report, uh, the, the price came down. So that is, uh, that is a risk. That is a risk. But of course, in the usual, there are conditions. In the Companies Act, there are conditions. They say you shall not invest more than 30% of the paid up capital of the company. Similarly, 
you cannot invest more than so many so much percentage 30 percent or 10 percent of your own total um, advances or total capital some conditions are there in spite of it when there is a higher push up from the higher ups then the managements oversee that and do a wrong decisions then um, explain the five c's of creditor uh, which one do you believe is the most important can you answer this five c's of credit hello sir hmm. uh, five c's are a character capacity capital conditions and creditworthiness good character capacity capital collateral and credit oh. correct correct good which and then i think the next question they have asked is which one is important uh, everything is important <laughs> i think it is like that, a group, group sir, discussion I, group discussion i think questions. so group discussion. i think so in my opinion character is the uh, most important yeah the fellow must be willing to give action yes. akshay akshay is our 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 student or and some other student any idea Nobody. Hello, boys, girls. You interact among yourselves in the Punjab in the WhatsApp. Please ask questions, answer questions, form groups, conduct meetings every day, two or three times, and discuss with people what you have studied yesterday. Also, go through the newspaper, Economic Times, or Financial Express, or Business Standard. And be up to date with current things that are. We will study all these credit analysis. They will ask something about what happened yesterday in your state. What is going to happen tomorrow in your state? So be ready for such questions. How do you differentiate between systemic risk and idiosyncratic risk? I don't know, Baba. Please search this and then post the answer in our group. In your opinion, what are the most essential financial metrics? I think this you can manage. Financial metrics like say the um, uh, credit ratio, sorry, uh, um, different ratios, debt service coverage ratio, then current ratio, then pro liquidity ratio, profitability ratio, all these ratios are important. And you please get to know this. And otherwise you are MBA students, are there any chartered accountant, any cost accountant here in our group? No, they won't come here. They will go directly for the interview. No problem. Sir, so, I am semi-qualified yeah. cost accountant. Excellent. So you have to answer this question for the group. Um, you please put it in the group, okay? In our okay, WhatsApp group. So now, why are you all very old people? 30, 40, 50, 60 years old people? Why there is no interest in taking up leadership and forming up groups? You know, the same thing I did in the case of Federal Bank. And the moment I said four people came forward out of the 40 people. Why nobody is coming forward here? You know, I am just telling you this is the only way by which you can solve this crisis. No institution will conduct class fully 200%. It is impossible. And... Uh, uh, it is only your group study that can help you improve your uh, results. So please form groups um, and then do it well. Uh, that will be very good. So thank you so much. This session I arranged at short notice for the sake of... Um, but now I, have, now I understood you are only in scale one. So it's not a big issue for me. I, can, I have already given you Federal Bank videos. Every day I will be posting in that. Similarly, I will give you Bank of India videos also. Every day, every day I will be po post. Not every day I am not posting because interviews are not there. I have covered all the first line, first time mock interviews for them. So you, if you go through that itself, you will know what type of questions will be asked normally in interviews. Thank you so much. I am sorry, candidates. I am not able to devote full time with you for the obvious reason. There is no time available. If only you are lucky, after this rush is over and still PNB is not over, then I can be with you for some more times. Otherwise, if you have some questions which you feel may be good, then you post it in the WhatsApp group. 
other candidates will answer. If no, if others are not answering, you are not getting the answer. You please send it to me. If time permits, I will go through. I will search and give the answer in our group and also automatically to you also. So this is how we have to prepare. I am extremely happy for all of you. Nearly 40 or 45 people have joined. I never expected this number candidates. No, no, no. I, for a, for a honest, honestly, one, I was not having time. So I was not running behind this. Number two, I never expected I'll be having 40 to 50 candidates for Punjab National Bank. I had 60 in the case of Central Bank. Bank of India, about 65. So Punjab National Bank, 40 is a good number because number of people called is less. So please try to make, now I think I have told you how to study. Now, yeah, it is time for me to go for Federal Bank. So thank you so much. Best wishes. I wish all of you the best of luck. So you ask questions, you clarify questions among yourselves. And if nothing happens, possibly next Sunday or so, we will meet again for another half an hour, one hour like this. Within that time, you must be able to answer me. What are the questions you have prepared? And if some of you feel like having your first level of uh, interview, that will be basic. Uh, first level of interview, you can take it up. Otherwise, if all of you come on the same date after the results, after the dates are announced, I am sure I won't be able to do two. I will do only one. If you want, I will return 100 rupees to you. That's what is possible. Thank you so much. Best Thank to wishes. Thank you. This session is really a useful session. I will post it um, only for paid group people. You, um, you please discuss among yourselves. Try to improve your standards. Thank you.